I'm Rick Johansson and this is Iron Echo Design. I want to answer the question that comes in, which is when you have a design and you're putting it on a shirt or a sweatshirt or something, how do you do the layout? Where does it go? How do you size it? So I decided I made some tips on what I found sells the best, has the best sell through. And I'll show you that on the computer, but also I'm here in Boston. We're gonna go to a Macy's and look to see what is actually on the floor. Most of what I've done so far on this channel has been Inkscape tutorials, and I love making them. I'm going to keep doing them, of course, but I want to integrate more on the business side of things, how you can actually have a side hustle, or if you're a small business owner, do your own digital assets. In this case, it's going to apply very directly to print on demand. This is the question I've gotten enough where it's time to answer it. So let's begin. To keep it super simple, let's just do three main layouts that sell. And the first one is top third. That could be a graphic or a text in the top third area. Here's an example on the NFL shop. The Dolphins text and the logo right there. Just the top third of the shirt. It sits well. And later in the video, I'll show you how to deal with where to position it in the sizing. Let's go to the next one. The next one that sells very well, easy to do, is some type of circle. It could be a graphic or a text. I'll give me another example here. My hometown Celtics. This is actually a very good example that shows sizing and the spacing between the collar. Let's go to the third one. This is my best seller across all the designs in the last seven years is full frame. And one example here is text, graphic, text. I've got another example for you here. And this is, I actually love this shirt when it came out, not just because they won, but I think it looks very sharp. You've got some text, a graphic right in the center, and these are specialty. Let me show you, no matter what your platform is, if it's Etsy or Amazon or Redbubble or your own Shopify, normally you will get some type of interface where you're uploading the design. So let's talk really quickly about the sizing to answer that question. Then I have more tips for you and other things. And whether you have this inter interface or not, you normally have your area where you can put the graphic and some of it's common sense. You would never put it too low. You would never put it off center, whatever. No matter how big you size it on any of these platforms in the last seven years, you still got to get a sample because I've sized them large on purpose to overcorrect when I order a sample and it comes out too small, and I've sized them small to course correct and they come out big, you have to find your provider. Unless you're going with a custom printer in town, it's gonna to be hit or miss. So what I've found is don't overfill the box area, just use your judgment. It's not a cop out, I mean it. Use your judgment, see how it looks, get a sample, and then move on. So let's go to the next tip here. When I started, I wasn't sure what to do. All I could think of was doing song lyrics. You can't do that. Though That's IP. You're going to get banned from every platform you're on. I thought about doing movie quotes. You can't do that. I thought about making crazy, like, pretend sport team names. You can do that, but they do not sell. They don't sell at all, and you, you get all excited. It doesn't work. My own brother got banned from Redbubble by a, made a great design, a disco Death Star, Star Wars, banned in, like, eight days. So... Sorry, Steve. But anyway, so here's what you can do. Stick to passion. You know, you want to know your audience. You want to know you could do a sport. Make sure it's not IP protected for a team, a profession, a doctor, nurse, a cause that you, that you care about or your pets. The style, I used to keep track on would I wear the design I just made. And I'm telling you, sometimes you're doing it, you're in your head. You actually look at it. You'd never wear If you're not going to wear it, no one else is going to buy it. And this is something that I'm still working on, trend. I have noticed it sells when it's on trend. So if you can build up your designs and get them uploaded and ready before whatever that moment is, you have a higher likelihood of selling. And the bonus on here, absolutely true, it's just human nature, funny sells. If you can combine funny with any of these, you're golden. I'm going to now show you footage of when I went to that Macy's, and this is like actual product at a giant department store that just printed out poorly. Now, the voiceover didn't come out right, but I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'll try to speak on what, what, I, what we're seeing on the video. And if you do like this topic, let me know. If you have special questions on this topic, let me know, because I do enjoy this 
part of it. I'm going to keep making designs on Inkscape, but I think this could help people. So let me know. We'll go to the footage with Macy's. Here's the main issue I'm talking about. These are two similar prints, obviously two different runs, size medium, size medium. If you look at the distance of the graphic to the collar, three fingers and probably five fingers. So this one, if I can hold it up, you'll see. Tough to tell, but this is where you want it to be closer to the collar. If you have the other one with the deep center, you can't really tell without a person wearing it, but try it out for yourself. You'll see when it sits this low towards the belly, it doesn't, it doesn't really come across as well. Here is me showing an example of a higher end brand. This is Armani Exchange. I'm trying to show that the distance between the collar and the design is consistent on every single one across different runs. And to round out the video, here's an example of a full frame graphic to show you that um, snake one. And finally, I liked this one as well at the end to show the distance between the top and the graphic. And I do this hand motion. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Hope this was helpful and we'll see you next time.